Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Smoke Time with Chanel. Today, we're going to be blasting Massive Retaliation, Arms of the War God. They just dropped their final compilation of all non-album tracks on NVNM. I suggest you go grab a copy. Because this shit fucking rules. And Massive Retaliation plays Morbid Attack Metal only. And hails to Sheep's Head Bay Cult for hooking up some fresh fucking merch. Like legit. I feel fresh with my uh, Flatbush Death Crush t-shirt. How sick is that? And it gets even better. Looks like we're both making some of the same stickers. But still, the best merchandise item ever. The horns and hooves condom. Calvin peeing on Christ. Amazing. Sheep's Head Bay Colt Eternal. Horns and hooves. Some good stuff. But... Today we got some straight up fucking pen shit. This is a 300 milligram vape pen of Dosi Do, which is an indica dominant. And uh, yeah, I already twisted it. Full spectrum cannabinoids and 100 percent strain specific terpiness <laughs> I don't know but uh this is a rhythm pen rhythm it's all medical there's the resin and when I say resin, I'm not talking about, you know, the grimy stuff. I'm talking, like, the gnarly, gnarly stuff. So. It's pretty nice. No button or anything. Mmm, mm. that's, that's delicious. Very potent, but delicious. That was very easy. That was a lot easier than I expected it was going to be. I figured there'd be some like crazy button. I'd have to insert my own cartridge, but no. I took it right out. I was told you don't need a lot with this stuff, like not to really fuck around with it. So we're just gonna pack a regular bowl. But uh, yeah, rhythm. 300 milligram vape pen. Definitely pretty gnarly, do si -do. Well, that Well, that, that's the name of the strain, do si -do. And it is indica dominant, and from what I read about it, it's fucking super gnarly. So, yeah, stoked. But it's one of those things like you really, you don't need too much. Like I'll probably take one more, cause I do want to pack this, but I know this is gonna fucking hit me like a ton of bricks probably. So we'll pack this for later, maybe. But um, in case you folks didn't know, a cursed womb is shipping internationally. So 
you want to get a t-shirt, CD, when the verminosis tapes come, you can grab one of those. But uh, I would grab the molten face tape if you live in Europe. Save yourself a little bit of money. And both versions are going to be different, so you might want to just get both versions. But, uh... I'm gonna bring a t-shirt in in a second, show you all the detail and stuff. If you are interested, I would grab them before they're gone because we're not gonna do these colors again. Pretty much we wanna make it so every time we do t-shirts and stuff, they're different colors. So, like, you'll never get, like, the same design and the same color twice. That's easier said than done, trust me. But I really like the, the way Sheep's Head Bay Colt does things as well. Like, these are super fucking nice shirts. Super nice beanies. And I really needed a new beanie, too. So this is, like, perfect. But, um... Let me show you the yellow, the Rona yellow Street Trash logo t-shirts, which are actually a collaboration with Ryan Haley, who does a lot of Piss Graves merchandise, and Lucas, aka Rusted Winds, who is slowly becoming one of my new favorite younger artists. Hold on one second. Here we go. But before, we'll take another hit of the pen. I was told these can last you like a week. So I'm trying not to like, you know, kill it. I taste so fucking good. And then it locks in. Very nice. But check out this detail. And I actually washed this once. And you should know, never put your shirts in a dryer. Always hang dry. But this has already been through one wash. Look at the detail. These are available internationally now. Ryan Haley did the Accursed and Rusted Winds did the Womb part of the logo. I was gonna call it the Viper logo, but I didn't know if enough people had seen the film Street Trash to know what I was referencing. But walking Lucas through exploding bodies and stuff like that and him adding his own little Altars of Madness touch I think makes this just a killer shirt design. Here's the Altars of Madness looking dude. It's very classic and just fucking sick. Highly recommend grabbing one of these bad boys before they're gone and you're like, fuck, I should have grabbed one. They're available on our band camp and we're shipping internationally, so grab one. We'll take a regular hit of the bowl. It's just a mix, I don't really know. I just grabbed whatever was in there. I'd be like on my ass, like, trust me. 
but Massive Retaliation, they have a compilation out with like, I think it's all their non-album songs, or I think it might be everything they ever recorded, I'm not 100% sure, but I fucking love this band, I mean you have members of Siege Column, Tom Warrior and Joe Versnio, one of my favorite NVNM bands I was lucky enough to see live since they are calling it a day, which I'm guessing is to focus on Blasphematory, Siege Column, <laughs> Altar of Gore, Burial Stone, DSS, they have so many fucking sick bands, Gauntlet, I love NVNM. Respect NVNM or prepare for combat. But this video goes out to Sheep's Bay, Sheep's Head Bay Cult for being fucking awesome. NVNM for also being awesome. And for THC for being fucking the best medicine in the world. But the do -si do strain, check it out. I'll put a little write-up from Leafy in the video description. This shit's no fucking joke. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. <clears throat> and only smoke, you know, if you feel like it's time for you to, like, don't be like 14 years old and start smoking bongs like that's not cool just fucking wait like i didn't do any of that shit till i was like 18 so you know you're not missing out on much unless you know you're like epileptic or something and then something like this can actually really help you like you know something like charlotte's web that's a strain that a lot of epileptics Especially if you're younger, that's what they recommend children smoke and whatnot. But, anyways, massive retaliation, arms of the war god on NVNM, and wanted to show off this fresh Sheep's Head Bay Cult t shirt and hat because they're fucking rad. Figured I would just do a little smoke time video because I got this nice pen from the dispensary. And the fact that a cursed womb is doing international shipping, I felt, you know, I wanted to show you how sick these shirts really fucking look. And I know not yellow is everybody's color, but trust me, these look really fucking good, and so do the white ones. I wish I had both to show you, but I don't. But anyways, like I was saying, NVNM have one last release and it's available right now and then it's gonna be gone forever. Like probably, 99% forever. And I don't know if Sheep's Head Bay Cult is sold out of this stuff yet, but come on, it's fucking sick. Like I love stuff that matches sometimes. Like, you can go from hesh to fresh. And I feel fresh right now, although this shirt is definitely hesh. Flat bush instead of death crush. That's fucking clever as shit. But I really do like the red hat. It's fucking gangster. <laughs> but as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. <gasps>